Uh, okay. Uh, I needed another break. I'm about three quarters of the way there. Let's just finish this up. May surprise you, but I've never seen an episode of Craig of the Creek. Who's gonna help when the ginger overwhelms? This show seems really popular, certainly one of Cartoon Network's bigger series of the last decade. And most people seem to really like it. Seems another one of those cartoons that got a lot of credit for its LGBTQ plus representation. But I've just never got around to it. From the premise, it sounds like Bridge to Terabithia, hopefully without the death. A kid named Craig and his two friends, Kelsey and JP, have adventures at a creek. I can dig it. This is the Haunted Dollhouse. I don't know if we're gonna find any magic four-leaf clovers out here, you guys. Wrong holiday. Come on, guys, get serious. We have to find a four-leaf clover if we want to have a chance at winning at the baby casino. At the what? At the baby casino. The baby casino? What the hell is a baby casino? A casino for babies or a casino where you can win babies? They find a dollhouse sitting in the middle of the woods, and if I found a dollhouse sitting in the middle of the woods, I would immediately run away from it because it's clearly the work of the devil, but they go and investigate. Wow, there's even a little guy in here. Looks like he was trying to paint a picture. And then had a heart attack and died right there. They go back to looking for a four-leaf clover as we zoom in on the doll. <laughs> Finally, a show that recognizes the creepiness of mimes. Well, that was a bust. We almost had to leave the baby casino in diapers. The hell is this place? They see that the dollhouse has moved, which begins creeping them out. This painting is also little and weird. Burn it. Burn the house to the ground. Craig thinks it has to be a prank. This has got to be some sort of prank. Guys, look! In the window. No, you morons, burn it! We then cut to two goth chicks, one with Mickey Mouse ears, discussing their plans for tonight. Ugh, I wish we were into more stuff. No way! We hate stuff! That's our thing! The kids try to get their help, as apparently they think they're witches. Yeah, yeah, this is how I expect most modern witches to look and act. Hmm, this dollhouse sounds haunted. But why is it following us? You see, ghosts are kind of like this glob of peanut butter. They aren't ready to leave this mortal coil, so they attach themselves to objects from their past and haunt the living until they get what they want. Why is there just one random scoop of peanut butter in there? They bring the dollhouse back to the place they originally found it, but when they return... <gasps> no, 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 no! You know what? This is an easy fix. Just get Christopher Walken in here. Oh no! Also, is that parrot on Kelsey's head alive? They go to the library. Nerds. What is this ancient machine? It looks like a computer. Have we reached the point where kids don't know what an old school computer looks like? Well, actually, it's a microfilm reader that they can use to look up old newspaper articles. They see an article with a house that looks like the dollhouse that was destroyed in a storm. And their son, Arthur. Their home was destroyed in the storm, and nothing was left except... a dollhouse. <gasps> so wait, the dollhouse looks exactly like the house they were living in? They tell the two witches the ghost's name is Arthur Rowley. And scaring these kids will be way more fun than Connor's dumb DJ night. Yeah, Connor could kick rocks. Yeah, these two are definitely modern-day witches, and by that, I mean they're just nihilistic assholes. Whoa, that is creepy. Tabby, I think I hate this. I think I hate these kids. Then why do you enable them? They begin a ritual, each having to sacrifice something, them all picking action figures. Of course, these two aren't taking it seriously. Arthur, please! Just tell us why you're haunting us! I want to play. Yes, he wants to play a game. I just realized he does look a lot like Jigsaw. Of course. This dollhouse must have been your only friend. Wow, that's pathetic. Oh, the bird is alive. Well, Craig opens the door and the flashlights go out. And when they come back on... Oh, Jesus! Ah! All right, that got me. Well, it turns out Arthur is just very shy and wanted someone to play with. But you could have just told us. Most kids don't like playing with dolls. No way. We'd love to play dolls with you. They're not dolls, they're action figures. Oh, that ain't me being toxic. They immediately start destroying the house on accident. Factor spike. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, dude. Uh oh, uh, Ben doll started a grease fire again.
<laughs> no, he just leaves. Also, lesbians. Where'd that other kid go? I don't know. Maybe he was actually a ghost. Well, yeah. <laughs> you kids need to ride home or what? So that was pretty good. It's not really a Halloween episode, more just a creepy one that aired around Halloween. That said, it does have some really good spooky moments, and the episode itself was also pretty solid. As I said, I haven't seen the show, but I was never lost and got the gist of most of the characters. I laughed, got some scares, it's good, just don't have much to say about it. 7 out of 10 on both scales. Maybe if it were actually set on Halloween, it would have gotten higher, but what can you do? Alright, so we've reached the 2020s. What show do we have for the year of COVID? Oh, finally, a show I've seen and like. I think this will be the first one since... Jimmy Neutron? But yeah, that ghost is gonna keep haunting you until they get what they want. Just like Ringworm. 